Okay, let's try. Let's try that again. Hi, everybody, and welcome to episode seven. Everyone's moving. Already better. Episode seven <laughs> of uh, Twilight Trails, our Call of Cthulhu uh, down at Darker Trails stream um, called Shepherd's Barn. So, um, uh, the last two episodes have been in the town of Castro Negro in Arizona, um, where they have found, uh, the source of some unchristian reading material that led, uh, Sebastian, Cece's character's friend down a dark path and potentially to their own demise and doom. Um, the town is a series of interrelated people. They're all from, like, two fam three families. It's, like, two Down different families. Diaz. Yeah, the Diaz's and the um, Carrera Perea's or something. And then there's, like, one innkeeper who's not related to them and, like, a sheriff, and that's it. Everybody else is somehow related. It's a two-family town. Yeah. That's yes. what we call it out here in the West. Um, so they went to the library. They got kicked out because Delilah was uh, snooping, according to the ancient librarian. Um, by simply existing, she was somehow snooping. I was dignifying a song, but... Um, they went out to the the barn, investigated that a little bit, then went out to the Diaz family vault where they found uh, several tombs occupied by seemingly very long-lived folk and uh, one tomb unoccupied, which claimed to be from uh, Bernando, I believe we have <laughs> decided. Bernando. Bernando uh, Diaz, which claims he's lived over 300 years, according to this. Also, according to my notes, we decided the plural of sarcophagus was sarcophagusin. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Checks out. Yeah. Good notes. Um, and then the the group went back to the the barn. They investigated a little bit. They found. A series of cult robes and silver sickles before opening a trapdoor, seeing a uh, frog tentacle monster really jamming on the flute, just really entering the televerse, as we declared. <laughs> um, just <clears throat> threw some dynamite at it. The thing exploded. We were trying to add some percussion to his music, and we had a lack of other instruments. Yeah. Interesting. I'm going to want to check to persuade him in hey, your human hey, tongues. Hey, it's the 1812 Overture can use a goddamn cannon. Okay. <laughs> kind of thanks for a second. Uh, blew up, reformed, and gently put down its flute. What oh, would no. you all like to do? <laughs> Scream. I screamed. Okay. And, yep, because I lost sanity, and I figured... Yep. Uh, uh, run, 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 run is a good answer. Okay. I push a silver sickle in Henry's arms. <laughs> I grab the other one and then I run. Okay. So you start booking it. Well, if everyone else is booking it, absolutely, I do. Yes. I'm not standing around for conversation. I have a right to refuse any customer. It says that above the bar. I like how Ash wasn't handed the silver sickle. <laughs> mm -mm. We know he doesn't handle weapons. <laughs> the one time he, for, he didn't even have his gun out. So this time you do though. So. Yep. <laughs> Jeez, how many Cthulhu monsters Jason, are there? Here make it matter. <laughs> okay. So. Yeah, this thing starts, like, rolling on its tentacles, essentially, towards you all. But as soon as you run out and um, 
get out of distance. As soon as it like touches the top of the, the little pit, it kind of yelps and rolls back down. And then you can hear it kind of this multifaceted echoing scream as if it's furious. And then it picks back up the flute and it really angrily starts playing. Oh no. Okay. Um... Okay. Well, we're not dead. Uh, not yet. If if uh, if memory does serve, uh, we have one more stick of dynamite. Mm-hmm. Uh, all in favor of blowing up the obelisk and riding home? Aye. Aye. All unanimous. It looks like. <laughs> Damn, I forgot to read my little journal entry. It's not important. <laughs> <laughs> It might be a good post credit sequence. It might. Um, well, it would change what I wrote, and I like that. So I will save <laughs> it. Um, yeah, I don't think... My only other option is that we go storm Fernando and give him a piece of our mind, and I don't... I've left too many pieces of my mind already here. I'm, mm -mm. We've only got one stick of dynamite, so we can either blow up Bert... Bert Nando, Bernando, or we can blow up an obelisk. Bernado. <laughs> I want it to be different uh, every time. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be Bernado. Bernada. <laughs> Bernandez. Uh, and, and it's going to be dark soon, so we should probably. Before the, the cult gets to Colton at night. I assume. Cult or we steal some robes that. and go undercover, but it's going to be harder to blow up the obelisk then. <laughs> Sister, what is that lit sound? <laughs> Just um, putting that there. <laughs> Briskly walking away. It's a very odd sacrifice. <laughs> it's a candle. It's, it's a prayer candle like some kind of Catholic. It's a little angry. It's why it's hissing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Y'all motherfuckers need Jesus. Can't <laughs> um, yeah, march march across this field. Okay. As you are walking across the field, you can hear in the distance from the Diaz estate. The sound of dogs barking. Mm -mm. Mm. Pick up the pace a little bit. <clears throat> yeah, I just kind of have my shotgun at the ready. It is armed with slug at the moment. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty much just covering Henry on his way. Okay. Okay. So you, you all book it to the um, the obelisk, and it's let's see. It's made of black stone, and it it looks uh, you kind of walked well around it before, and yeah, it's. So, it's in a clearing uh, in the woods. Uh, I'm sorry, it's in a clearing on a hill. Mm -hmm. um, uh, as you get closer, you'd say the obelisk is about twice as tall as you, maybe about 10 feet high. Um, it's crudely carved all over. So, as you get close, in the dream, it, it looked... A lot smoother because it's a dream and you're kind of hazy in distance. But you can see it's got like rough um, 
chisel marks in it. So it's not a perfect, smooth obelisk. It looks very rough and ancient, even as if maybe it's been worn by time. Um, it's about to get a lot rougher when we blow it up. It's about to get worn by this time. Um, <laughs> and much like around the barn, you notice that the f- flora around the obelisk is rotted and dying, and there's a notable lack of uh, animal noises, insects, birds, small critters uh, as you approach it. Like, it's, it's you know, normal cicadas, crickets as you're walking, and then all of a sudden, like, just creepy, deafening silence. Gross. Okay. I don't like it. Not a portent of ill fortune at all. And as you approach, you can see laid at the foot of the statue are the, um, very similar to the ones you've seen in the barn and at the tomb, the little pagan statues. Okay. Yeah, it's a blight to God. It's got to, it's got to go. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> it's got to go. <laughs> Just pile them up where you're going to put the dynamite so you make sure they get blown up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Put them in amongst that. I feel like that would take more time and care to like place the dynamite. You assume we don't have time to just like huck a stick of dynamite and run. <laughs> I just kind of kick them in a pile. <laughs> There we go. Good enough. <laughs> Good enough for government work. Let's go. Mm-hmm. Okay, so yeah, so Delilah kicks Henry. You light it and just chuck it. I'm just. I'm. My target here is a giant rock. Oh yeah, no, you're not gonna, gonna miss like... it. I just. I want to know what you're doing. Like, are there any grooves that we could stuff it in? Like, it does it have like a base? I'm imagining that it has like a base. It's not just coming, jutting straight out the earth. It is or just jutting straight it? out of the earth. It doesn't have oh, okay. like a proper. Is there any base language to it? You sure you want to look at it that closely? Oh boy, <laughs> I, I think by the time I'm this close, yeah, I'm. She's close enough to kick. She's close enough to. Read. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a- okay, so as you get close and kind of start to look at it, it's this curving, bizarre alien language. It looks, you are an educated woman. Yes. It looks like nothing you have ever seen. And even when you blink and close your eyes, now it is just like imprinted on the back of your eyelids. Like every oh, time no. you close them, it's swimming dots of these bizarre letters. Nope. Nope, not of this earth. They don't teach that at the Georgia Female College. No, man, and they... We got into some weird stuff in the Philomath Society, and this is... Nope. Now, uh, it could be that heathen Catholic language, Latin. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's still mostly straight lines. Yeah, okay, yeah. A yeah, lot too this, many straight lines, some would say. <laughs> some would say. Um... No, Heavenly Father, no. Uh, we just... Nope, light the fires, kick the tires. We are... Okay. We are So out. you light it, and as you shove it down there and start to hustle buns away, you can hear the dogs no longer sound like they're coming from the estate. They sound like they've started to move towards the obelisk. Yep. Go fetch. <laughs> We're a good... We're moving away, so let's go. <laughs> Leave, leave in town? How about? Yeah. Sound good. Mm-hmm. Okay. Do you... Okay. Questions. Do you want to go back and get your horses, or do you just want to book I mean, it? I mean, kind of, but that seems... I just don't know we're going to survive in the desert. Uh, 
Yeah, I think I'll make an appeal that we we do need to get the horses. Horses, unless there is the slightest sign of trouble at the hotel. Yeah. Henry, could you get us home without our horses? It'd take us longer, but... I'm as concerned with the saddlebags. Um, maybe we should have done that first, but I think those dogs are coming either way, and I don't want to miss our opportunity. All right, we'll try for the horses, but the first sign of trouble, and we book it. Okay. So cutting back across the field to town, is -hmm. there anything you want to avoid? Or do you just... Uh, Trouble. Quickest... Oh, okay, well. (laughs) Damn. Trouble and dogs. Mm -hmm. Okay. So... Dangerous. Dog trouble or troubling dogs. Okay. Yeah, you can do that. So... You, oh, well, then. <laughs> you can, well, you're yeah. cutting a specific way. Uh, would you rather go closer to the to the barn or the vault? <laughs> I, think, I think. The vault? Yeah. Well, if the frog monster can't actually go above ground. Yeah. No, let's go back towards the barn. Maybe even pick up those robes. In okay. case we need to throw them on real quick. Okay. Oh yeah, we're totally part of your cult. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't just blow up your monument. Sure. We're mad about that. Yeah. Who would do such a thing? The monument yeah. hasn't blown up yet. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> some Easterners probably did that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but you do, you do indeed hear a, <laughs> and the dogs start like. Like howling because there's a loud noise. It's a th- firework. Yep. S- somebody needs their thunder buddy. Yeah, my cheeks are all red about it. Let's just go. Okay. Is there the sound of rock reconstituting itself behind <laughs> us? <laughs> what would that sound like? And Ash? then the obelisk very slowly and upsetly puts down its flute. <laughs> <laughs> you hear a bump, 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 and then it's a transformer. Oh, and this is a crossover. <laughs> oh, shoot. Why were there cowboy transformers? Um, Beast Wars is a prequel. It is a prequel, but it's prehistoric. Prehistoric prequel. Yeah, but Optimus Prime so, isn't the same one. Anyway, don't get me on a Beast Wars kick. Um, <laughs> <laughs> something, something Beast Wars movie. There might, okay, we don't have time, but I want it. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so as you all approach the barn, um, starting to skim it, you can see that the door is open, and there seems to be a light on inside as it's getting dark. All right, well, I'm not going to really maybe. stick around long enough to see anything about that. So... Yeah, let's just... Yep. Go that way. Okay. We were just more a landmark, really. Just sure. Yeah. <laughs> Skirt around it, kind of. Yep. It. As you do, however, a silhouetted figure appears in the door and says, "Excuse me, travelers." Nope. Sorry. Not excuse. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> what? I didn't. The the wind, the desert wind. Did you hear that big boom just a second ago? Let's get in the opposite direction of that. Dangerous parts, these. <laughs> <laughs> it's not safe to go alone. We gotta go. <laughs> just tumble and tumbleweed. Oh, dude, you have the worst skills. <laughs> no, thank you. I already have one. Uh, it, we're just seeing a we'll silhouette the of, office. <laughs> of this man. Uh, you are. So let's see. Okay. If, if I turn around, it, have we done any harm to that rock? Oh, yeah. You can see. Okay. Uh, in the distance, it's, um, silhouetted by the sun setting. Um, so it's all orange and glowing, but it looks like you've at least knocked it over by half. You could only see the top of it from here. But it looks like it's fallen and there is smoke pouring from it. 
Okay. We've cut off their dark antenna. They can no longer stab, but God, I'm good. <laughs> I'm going back to Georgia. <laughs> I hear California's nice this time of year. Uh, yeah. Also okay. on fire. Time to brush off my Spanish. Go to San Diego. We can't do the thing. Okay. So. Um, how fast? Okay. You home, book it. <laughs> and yet, yeah, just the guy in the thing seems to curse under his breath kind of, or not even under his breath because you all can hear it, but says something and seems to look around um, and then yells something in Spanish. Um, and yeah, all towards town. Bye, con Dios. <laughs> Nuevo, you got it. <laughs> Pantalones. Siento, señor. No tenemos el tiempo. No, no molestes, por favor. I also know Spanish. <laughs> okay. Makes you feel MBA. Like that was like the extent of my Spanish. <laughs> yeah, I, took a, I took a year of college Spanish and I got nothing. Donde esta la biblioteca? You know where that is. Uh, yeah, actually it's right up. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> um, yeah. You all get to your horses. Okay. I think it's too late to get our quarterback for t you know what uh yeah no um unlash them from a post and um giddy up uh giddy up okay uh are the are the howls singularly focused on heading out into the field or what are, what are they doing yeah they seem in the distance still off by the obelisk okay so they're they're hunting the source of all the kerfuffle not us it, right now but yes that seems okay yes they are not preternaturally no uh, they're not sort of, yeah some sort of hellhounds that can track your scent over many planes or anything like that <laughs> now they're just big scary dogs they're okay, not yeah. witchering us right now um, <laughs> doing themselves a witcher <laughs> uh uh, all right then, know. yeah. Single hot tub in this town. <laughs> <laughs> there might be a hot spring nearby. Maybe yeah, we're not gonna stick around to find out. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that hotel had a tub too. Get on your horses. Start. Yeah, they did. It did. Um, every room did. Um, get on your horses. You start riding out of town. It's getting late, as I said. The sun is pretty much set at this point. Long shadows across the whole town. Um, bright orange sky. Red sky at night. Sailor's delight. Um, Are we sailing? Uh, no. <laughs> so, <laughs> take from that what you will. Um, let's see. Okay. Ash, as you were riding... Mm -hmm. You feel what almost feels like a cat paw on your shoulder. Okay, I turn to see if there is indeed a cat paw upon my shoulder. There is what looks to be a cat paw. But it's this very, it's almost shaped like a ferret. Uh -huh. But it's got too many legs and it's got the face of a human. Uh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Um, Do, is its demeanor threatening? <laughs> you, you would find its posture threatening. I um, attempt to sweat it off. Uh, yeah, give me, give me a SWAT check. Give me. <laughs> well, like to point out, yeah, what's before your? Before I started galloping what? away, mm -hmm. I did take a bullet out of that gun, not by firing it. <clears throat> okay, yeah, so you're not... Yeah, I don't want it going off into my leg. Right. <laughs> okay. 
Uh, yeah, give me a strength or dex check. Ash. Okay. Okay. Um, I got a 58. And okay. I've got a 55 strength, 45 dex. So you fail. Unless you would yeah. like to do anything about that. Well, I do have an awful lot of luck points. You so. are one lucky son of a bitch. <laughs> Seeing as that is the case, I would like to use some of that that luck to um, make myself succeed. Okay. It. <laughs> ah! And it, ah, yeah, it just kind of goes limp and rolls into the to the dust behind you, and quickly gets up and starts scurrying on all. 15 of its legs to try and get you. That that has to be a sanity check. Oh, yeah. For Ash, no one else has seen it yet. Yeah, no. Okay. Yeah, no. Delilah's seen that before. Oh, of course. Um, Our ma- mascot at school. Yeah. Oh, shit. I got a five. Okay. Okay. So um, I passed that. Oh, you're familiar with the Georgian female college Human cat ferrets? <laughs> With 15 Human cat legs. ferret centipede. Yeah. Uh, you still lose one sanity. Okay. Um, but, yeah, you you hit it. And you know it can be hit. <laughs> Did it feel real gross when I hit it? Oh, yeah, it was all, like, spiny. Oh, I don't like that on multiple Mm-mm. levels. Um... Ooh. <laughs> is it like still skittering after me? Oh yeah, no, it's like it's motoring. It's not crazy fast. It's ultimately very small, but it's it's motoring after you guys. John Carpenting. It's very John Carpenting. <laughs> uh, hey, hey, that might be my new favorite verb. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to try and yell over the the rumble of horse hooves. Henry, can you shoot this thing? What the oh? Yes. <laughs> I'd shoot it myself, but I don't trust myself to. <laughs> okay. You ain't gonna get any better if you don't try. <laughs> click click. That is true. That is how this game works. Click click. Henry, would you like to make a shot at this thing? I would like to make a shot at this thing. I'll let you try first, then I'll try. That's not good. It's an 85. Okay. Would you like to spend luck and or push your luck other... Or would you just like to shoot again? Uh, I would just like to shoot again, because I don't think I have enough to go for my firearms of 50. Okay, yeah. That'd be rough. I'd like to not use all of my luck killing a little weird ferret thing. It does have a person face. 75. Okay. You got three more, two more shots in this thing. Uh, Three. Can I pull up and try and shotgun it? So far it is. All right. I got a 17. All I have. (laughs) And I have a 60, so I hit it pretty good. Okay. And to be... Uh, yeah, that's a good success, too, by the by. Okay. Uh, so it's, it's with a slug, it's 1d10 plus 7, provided it's within 50 yards. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Units of measurement or what have you. All right. Footlongs. Footlongs. <laughs> All right. Ooh, that's a 10. Uh, that's 17 points of damage. <laughs> Guts everywhere. I would make you two make sanity checks, but you get them back when you kill it. So, oh, okay. <laughs> ah, what is it? Oh, uh, we can kill it. It's fine. Um, Wait, boys, you quit you messing around. Yeah, you didn't get quite as good a look at it, so it just looked like a weird, gross desert rat I, I to you. Was, yeah, I thought it was a lizard. Um, and then kind of jerk the reins back and and trot off again. Thanks, Miss Sinclair. Oh, man. Maybe I should get me a shotgun. (laughs) 
Very reliable. <laughs> Please put it away. Steady it. <laughs> Just swing it around. No, she has proper discipline. She went to college. <laughs> Sir, I'm playing a lot of Red Dead Gun Redemption. College. In <laughs> Georgia. Georgia female college. Georgia female college. Georgia female gun college. Um, <laughs> look, there's not a lot to do. Marksmanship, bird <laughs> calling. Yeah. You combine the two activities. Um, <laughs> Call a bird, shoot it. <laughs> Call another bird, shoot it. They're not very smart. <laughs> Birds are dumb. I minored in that. <laughs> <laughs> now birds are dumb and easy to kill I see how it is Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you all, how long do you all ride? I mean I want to say until that town is a distant bad memory yeah. yeah I mean till I don't hear any barking uh, till I can't see it no more skittering. Yeah, when I close my eyes, I don't see that language any damn more. Those are, are my mile markers. Okay. It's like two days back to... Yeah. To Stone Garden, right? Yes. Yeah. Day and a half. Mm-hmm. One of us is not going into town. Mm, mm -hmm. Not unless one of you magically grow $50. Okay. What would you all like to do at camp? Or is the answer just sleep? Oh, if you can call it that. Uh... Yeah, I mean, I think we have to set... A watch. Yeah. And um but but yeah, I don't I don't see myself being much for conversation because it's a lot of uh prayers over and over and over again. And the only one coming to mind is like kind of an old baptismal, so there's a lot of this child who keeps coming into the conversation. There's not a child currently, but needs a subject. Uh, so uh, uh, Delilah will kind of by necessity volunteer for first watch because I don't think she's going to bed yet. Okay. Is everyone else uh, okay with that? Henry is fine with it, but he is also going to angrily throw a sickle into the uncaring desert, because <laughs> keeping that seems like a bad idea. Okay. Mm. Yeah, Ash will be pretty shook by the day's events and just kind of lay down, but kind of do that. I'm just going to keep my eyes open staring at the stars with my hands near my gun thing until I just kind of let sleep take me kind of thing. Okay. Um, make sure I got two shots in the shotgun, put it on my lap, and just stare dead back in the direction of that town. Okay. Delilah, every oh, no, time <laughs> you close your eyes, you swear you can still occasionally in the, you know, every time you blink, you see one of the letters in the corner of your vision. And then when you blink, it starts to unfold and turn into English words. And you instinctively just kind of understand what it is saying. But it says... It 
it says um, you may run back east but you will never outrun what you have done someone will find you Well, that's alarmingly specific, Obelisk of Doom. <laughs> Someone Wonder. had to ask if it had writing on it. <laughs> well. What you get for having an education. Yeah. There's <laughs> been an inter- underlying theme of danger hose in my characters of late. Um, <laughs> it educated somehow, though. It's... It's all the smart ones. <laughs> Freya knows how to keep out of trouble for the most part. Yeah. Sort of. Get real close to it. That's yeah. how she does it. By... Be useful um, to the trouble. Yes. No, I... Listen, college is a perfect place for raising Cain. So, um... No, I just... I, well, I don't cross myself, obviously, because that's paganry. Uh, but I... I, I just keep praying the good lord Shug to keep his hand on me and just gonna get out of there and I'm back to proper protestant lands and and then the devil can come at me there not now Okay. Uh, when I start I feel feeling like my eyes, myself a proper church with no <laughs> candles. That's right. Candles, no talking to Jesus' mom, no dead guys on idols. Um, when I feel like it's being too much effort to open my eyes when it's not being shocked back awake because mm-hmm. of threatening graffiti, um, I will. Uh, did anyone line up for second watch? Sure. Okay. okay. Yeah, I think I think that's right. Um, if we just let Ash get there six. Uh, they can stay up through morning. Uh, so yeah, wake wake up Henry and uh, offer the shotgun. Do you want? Nah, you you keep it. All right. I'd, I'd rather everyone have something. Okay. Just be within arm's reach of wherever Henry seems to be posting up, and I just imagine them just like trading places. <laughs> yeah, and try and get what sleep I can. Okay. Go ahead and load both pistols. Okay. And stare in the direction of the town. As as the dawn approaches, you can see coming from the town is billowing smoke as if much more than the obelisk has caught fire. Because you don't think you'd be able to see... I mean, you'd be able to see, like, a stream of it from here. But it's it's a lot of smoke right now. Okay. As long as it stays over there. Yep. What would you all like to do? I guess I've been kind of presuming that we were going east or west. So I think it's time to start heading south. In that direction, back towards the vicinity of Stone Garden. Though, is the train station closer? Uh, Technically, yes. Yeah, me, we might want to just go there. Although I have a fair amount of my stuff and condolences and goodbyes to send, but 
they'll have a telegraph here any day now, I figure. <laughs> um, Mail at least makes its way. Yeah, yeah. Like the Snow Garden. Yep. So, yeah, no, I think... I'm proper frightened enough. Let's let's head for the train station. Okay. Unless anyone's got a better vote, but I know no. Henry doesn't even want to go back into town, so train station doesn't go further west, does it? The you could get a train to California. Okay, cuz east is a bad idea for Henry. Oh. I feel like it's all Catholics out west. <laughs> Well, you've already like started a school. Maybe you can start a church. Yeah, you could be a missionary of sort. I don't, I don't know that we let girls be them, but but it's worth the thought. <laughs> Set of sorts. <laughs> of, sor of, of sorts. <laughs> Maybe I'll send for my too good for this world reverend. Have him be the face. Okay. So, you all want to go to California? California, eh? I so, said, like, yeah, if, if... I mean, there are a couple other state options. Sure, Colorado's sure. Colorado's just north, and if we're even going to California, there's an entire, like, Utah. That's not far enough. I'm, I'm going back to a coast one way or the other, I think, so... Have we found Alaska yet? Seward's folly, you mean. <laughs> way to go, sword. Um. Yeah, I think I think I think America does have Alaska at this point. Seward's Folly is what I was about to search for. Seward's Folly. Alaska purchase. Uh, America has just recently purchased Alaska within the last two years. <laughs> that, Betcha they don't have any Cthulhu's there yet. That, oh yeah, oh, there's not at all a history of. Arctic locations being tied to the Grand Unknown and Eldritars. They're not called Cold Thulus. <laughs> no. Point. Well, Jay. everybody, it's been fun. It's a shame I have to go. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, at least he went out on a high note. <laughs> so, so, I, I think there is a strong pull to go home, but the whole problem with home was there was no opportunity for a girl with a degree anyway. So yeah, I think I think further west is it wouldn't take much, but her companion saying they were going that way for uh, for Delilah to to get on board. Okay, yeah, there's uh, Utah to the north, Nevada, California, Idaho, Oregon. Washington, Canada. Could always go to Canada. I mean, if we decide to go to Alaska, we'd have to go through Canada. Mm -hmm. I just need to go where a woman can make her way. Probably anywhere but Utah. <laughs> Of those places. <laughs> yeah. Although the Mormons haven't moved in yet, have they? Um, oh, you know what? Yes, yeah. I'm pretty sure. I think they have. I don't know. Let's see. 1869? They might have. Mormonism. Uh, yeah. Br okay. Now an educational show for everyone watching. Yes. <laughs> uh, Brigham Young led the Mormons to Utah in 1844. Oh no, then definitely not. Actually, I might, I might have to go to Wyoming. But for now, we just need to get away from here. I'll I'll go once Wyoming has suffrage. I was going to say Wyoming's the first 
state for women's suffrage. It's only two months yeah. away. Yep. Yep. Once I get rumor of that, I think that's where Delilah's going to try and end up. That is, if she's not eaten by Catman ferrets. <laughs> of peds. <laughs> okay, yeah, so... So what's every, where's everyone's vote lie, then? It sounds like Delilah would like to go to Wyoming. Maybe. Eventually. It's technically east of Arizona. Um, well, for now, just stick together. And if we get to a postscript and aren't all eaten by Catullas, then, uh, then yeah, by early 1870, boo. Um, <laughs> we'll see if she doesn't move on. Okay. Um, so you all head west do you want to like sort of keep hitting frontier towns or do you want to head to like san francisco san francisco frisco they love it when you call it that they love that um yeah i mean my understanding is you get on a train and it only goes the one path so wherever that <laughs> ends up <laughs> well but you but like much like stone garden you can kind of get off in the middle of nowhere and ride to a frontier town if you want mm-hmm I think I'm done with Frontier Towns. They're fucked up. There's <laughs> rat whispers and evil minds. Towns full of Diaz's. <laughs> the worst. Yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking of Mexican a bigger... mummy mares. No. Yeah, big, bigger sort of settlement is sounding. Okay. Yeah, so. Yeah, nothing strange ever happens in cities. No. <laughs> That's right. Not in my experience. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you all head to San Francisco, which I certainly... Okay, good. <laughs> certainly was prepared for. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh. San Francisco has less people in it now than I thought it would. Um, okay. Okay. So, I'm not reading a Wikipedia article of San Francisco. Nope. San Francisco. So, it's... Ooh, here we go. There's a port... All coming right out of the source book. Yeah. <laughs> it definitely goes this far west. Um, so, the gold rush has mostly died down in San Francisco. Um, it's becoming a bit of a burgeoning port city. Um, and, yeah... Uh, hilly, foggy, San Francisco. Wooden buildings, the full house house. Lots of things that you recognize. San Francisco. That's already there. <laughs> yeah. The Golden Gate Bridge. Alcatraz. Uh, Alcatraz. <laughs> <laughs> Oakland. The Raiders. Great. John Madden. Lots of things. For sure. So glad we came. It's the first Smash Burger. So many things. In and out. No, For as sunny as it is, I'm surprised I need a sweater. I'm just imagining all of our characters just going to hot spots in San Francisco <laughs> and taking like really touristy pictures. With the old it's like Henry's navigating off of a map to the stars home. <laughs> I've been to like, the Apes Bridge. I've been to San Francisco for one day, and I did not have a great time. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's a beautiful city. They just nothing I wanted to do was open. Um, mm. So yeah, so how do you, what do you? We're gonna play a little loose, loosey goosey with this part. What do you? What do you? What is your goal now that you're here? Uh, to not get eight by. Any amount of Cthulhu's. <laughs> to try and forget all that ever happened. I guess we'd... Curiosity would get the better of Ash, and he tried to see if there were any sorts of news coming out of 
that area. About a town done being exploded okay, or something. Yeah. Checking the newspaper daily. Um, maybe even occasionally going to the library and requesting Arizona newspapers. Uh, you do eventually see articles that say um, mysterious dis- or mysterious fire claims um, town of Castro Negro, um, and it says some residents moved uh, to nearby settlements, Stone Garden, other places. Um, uh, so not everyone died. They don't know what caused the fire, um, and a lot of the buildings were stone. So you're a little confused as to why like a fire would necessarily have destroyed the town Mm -hmm. um but the article doesn't really mention that um and getting news from stone garden there was a um mine disaster a couple weeks after you all left uh and the uh the mine collapse killed about uh 20 miners Kids? Like one of the other mines, or one of the uh, no, the Stone Garden silver mine. Yeah, like one of the shafts, not the whole thing, but okay. Yeah. But one of the family mines, not, right? Right. Yeah. Not the one that we found those zombies in. Uh, no, <laughs> not okay. 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 And Ash probably won't relay this news to anyone unless y'all ask um they seem kind of like a don't ask don't tell kind of a well I am gonna send back to the good reverend and ask them to collect my things okay and send them to me probably by post and probably mostly unsigned, just enough that they know, you know, with loving regards, your sparring partner or something, you know, something to keep my name out of it. Okay. In case any Diaz's in their hounds come westward. Uh, and until then, I might have to work for someone else for, for cash. Um, same line That's, of work, though. Yeah, such as my nightly woman duties. Um, but yeah, I presume there's a, enough people established here that they wouldn't take kindly on me. Oh, putting yeah, up no, a, it's... a Lucy Peanut shop that says the doctor is in. And just... <laughs> yeah, no. If you try, someone will try and get you in line pretty fast. Yeah, no. I I have a little more survival instinct than that, so I will. I will try and find a place that doesn't have me scratching myself at the thought of it. Um. Okay. Uh, Henry. <laughs> How does a train robber start over? Well, I don't maybe. imagine it's the first time that Henry's had to start over. Ah, uh-huh, but there was always further to go before this. I'm out of West. Start robbing boats. <laughs> Or, I mean, well, actually, yeah, those boats do go further west. If you have any interest in the Orient. um... Or Australia. (laughs) Similar minded folk. I've had enough deserts. (laughs) (laughs) Everything's trying to kill you there. Yeah. Everything's trying to kill us here. (laughs) Oh. (laughs) Well, yeah. There is a source book for Australia in Call of Cthulhu. (laughs) course there is i don't know what time period it takes place in but they're already living in it (laughs) all kinds of dream time and 
everything's already trying to kill them there. Why did they need a Cthulhu book down there? Because <laughs> now everything's trying to kill you and drive you insane. Oh. I thought their government was trying to... Okay. Well, <laughs> Henry, I mean, you could try going legit, or yeah, I mean, you could get on a boat and keep running. Um... I maybe we teach you how to do post mail and stuff. Maybe we outran your name. You seem pretty handy with a lock. Have you considered putting locks on things? Yeah, that might be a start. <laughs> Not foreboding in the least. <laughs> you gotta give this life behind. Give this life <laughs> up. Yeah, be, yeah. Um, it's still the West. It's still, you know, it, this is this is sort of, you know, where frontier spirit goes to die. A city. Gross. But yeah. nobody really asks any questions. Can you do it? And it's not cool. It's not San Francisco yet, right? I mean, not how we're picturing it. As funny as that was, like, but has it become like a city? It's. Um, so I'm looking at a picture of San Francisco from 1851. It's it's mostly a port at this point. Okay. Like it's. So I did actually just see that uh, the cable car was the idea for the cable car started in 1869. Oh. So nice. it has to be enough. And cobblestone streets were the cause of why they wanted one, so it has to be. Yeah, it's it's already civilization got, enough. Yeah, it's got over over twenty five thousand people. Oh, okay, yeah. So yeah, it's it's easy to get lost in a yeah, city. Yeah, it's then. it's pretty. By eighteen ninety, San Francisco's population was three hundred thousand. Okay, so I mean that's still what is that twenty one years away, but. Yeah, but I mean, it, it's, it's growing rapidly. In 50 years, its population went from 25,000 to 300,000. So it's definitely a boom town. Um, mm -hmm. And yeah, the the gold rush is over, but it's still, it's it's a proper city. Like, it's, it's no New York, but it's probably comparable in a lot of ways to Atlanta. Um, it doesn't have that old world charm that Atlanta has, but... Um, or anywhere, or in like the Carolinas, or anything like that. But yeah, it's it's a proper modern city for all intents and purposes. And no earthquake has destroyed half of it yet. Yeah. 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 But what is an earthquake? But a Cthulhu waking from the deep. <laughs> yeah, I'm moving to Wyoming, y'all. Um. <laughs> No, yeah, I mean their queen. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna be voted queen. Uh, yeah, kind of get myself established and wait for my things. Uh, help these two do the same. Okay, I mean we can it's get fun. Henry started down any number of paths. Uh, Ash, you open a post office or you volunteer at the post office. Um, he'd probably start off there, but if he starts hearing rumors about them putting together some kind of a a smaller train system, aka the cable car, then he'll probably try and get himself involved in that in some way. Okay, awesome, yeah. Being that is his, uh, interest. Okay, yeah, so you all settle over the next couple of months, and... <laughs> yeah, the coldest summer you've ever experienced it's, how is it or in california how is it this cold how is it possible i always need a sweater um and yeah slowly some boxes start arriving from stone garden um mostly unmarked like they they they're just sent to an address. They don't have your name on it. They don't even have the reverend's name on them. It's care of a friend. 
And yeah, you all get stuff. Um, the Reverend kind of infers that he should get Ash's stuff. So that slowly starts getting sent your way. Um, and yeah, a couple handwritten little notes that are like, I hope you are well. Not sure why you left. Um, please send word. Like, if you are well, I understand if it has to be vague. I hope nothing happened while you were gone. I, I hope that Henry fellow didn't get you into trouble. I have a feeling he might have been a criminal. <laughs> no, sir. <laughs> his picture appeared on a... His likeness appeared on a, a poster not long after you all left. <laughs> um, Any mention of the conquistador in any of these? <laughs> uh, he <laughs> says <laughs> that he has fallen ill and he does not know what to do with him. He is making him comfortable, but he is not long for this world. Uh, yep. Uh, yeah. And... Um, you, know, you occasionally get more and more notes and the reverend sounds more and more disillusioned and uh, says that uh, the you get one final letter from him and it says he is returning to New York. To New York? Hell no. Um, I mean, you can write back and tell him to no. Hell no. Uh, that's all it says. <laughs> no, depend. Uh, I think it is a better postscript, provided we survive. So let's let's see how we advance. Uh, I mean, once we get into putting an S at the end of months, and then getting through eighteen seventy, because I plan on falling into a rut pretty quick. Mm -hmm. Does does anything seem to be coming for us other than our own jumping at shadows? Uh, there's a lot of jumping at shadows. Yes. And... There's a lot of shadows in cities. Six months after you all leave, you all... Can I get psychology checks from everyone, please? <laughs> uh, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did we level up in that time? It's not important. Uh, you did, but we haven't been doing it right. <laughs> so, sorry. Yeah. That is not going to make it. Oh, you got to be kidding me. I'm pushing. Okay. <laughs> I got a 91. Okay, a 43. Okay. Anyone else succeed? No. Um, Delilah, you start to, and you swear you're not crazy. One. <laughs> yeah. It's always a good way to start. <laughs> But two, you swear you keep seeing the same person. Uh, a darkly handsome gentleman, dark beard, dark hair, bright green eyes. And you swear he is following you. Okay. But he never, like, approaches you. You just keep, It's one of those things where you just keep seeing him and you're like, oh, maybe we're, maybe we're just going to the similar places on the trolley car. Yeah. Like... You know, you just visit the same restaurants or whatever, but you you live on the same street. But it's just one of those things where you just you keep seeing him, and it's just unnerving. Yeah. Um, I think I get in contact. I don't expect to have fallen too far out of contact with boys, but I'm sure mm -hmm. that there are are days. But try and establish. Like, especially if I'm seeing this other person in, in any kind of pattern to get Henry and Ash to kind of be, you know, at the same restaurant that I'm going where I expect to be followed to or meet at a corner where there's conveniently an alley or something mm -hmm. that we can confront this gentleman. This won't be the first time I've been followed home but usually that's just a matter of taking a couple extra turns and chatting friendly with some longshoremen long enough for that person to move on this is right. a pattern well and it's not 
Stone Garden, you can't really carry your shotgun around with you anymore. No. <laughs> Henry can probably get away with carrying a pistol on him. Mm-hmm. But... I'm starting to count on it. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, try, try and lead this person to the others where either we can have a confrontation, let alone an ambush. Like... Okay. Uh... Henry and Ash, how do you respond to Delilah's request? I feel Delilah like... needs help. Delilah needs help. Okay. Yeah. I feel like even after six months that, like, I've come to take the other two at their word if they think something's fishy. Even if we're just jumping at shadows, at least we're jumping. Oh. At least we're jumping together. Yeah. <laughs> I shot a catapede ferret man. <laughs> At this point, saved my life. <laughs> at this point, it's hard to sound crazy after that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this sounds normal. You have a stalker, ostensibly. Like, oh, yeah. a dude? Yeah. Okay, yeah. So, do you try and lure him, Delilah? Or how did... Uh, yeah, I, I will. Uh... Yes, 100%. I'm trying to lead them into a trap. The okay. trap is not necessarily to end in bloodshed, but it is to lead them to a place where we have the upper hand. The the jump on them as far as like why you follow me. Okay. Yeah. You they spring the trap. They Excellent. follow you down an alley one one night. And Del uh, Ash and Henry are, you know, leaning, smoking a cigarette against a <laughs> trash can in the dim, foggy streets of Chicago. How is it this cold? <laughs> Ash coughing relentlessly. <laughs> <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> AIDS with good digestion, you say? <laughs> My T zone certainly feels stimulated. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> asthma cigarettes. I was just about to say asthma cigarettes. <laughs> Smooth. Really helping the TB. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing it right, aren't I, aren't I, Henry? My doctor said go some, please. You and your best. Damp and cold. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best for the TB. Oh. <laughs> uh. A lot of people die from ignorance. Uh, so, uh, yeah, then just, um, I am, sorry, sir, you have us at a disadvantage, I will say, is we spring the advantage. Um, <coughs> yeah. <laughs> Busted. <laughs> um... <laughs> Uh, you have him at a disadvantage. Oh, it's too cold for fans. <laughs> <laughs> just blowing just fog in your face. He says, um, I have been looking a long time. West, you went, I see. And it oh. sounds like that guy six months ago who you saw silhouetted in the barn. Yes. Yes, once my scary dream translation said I can't go east, I was like, joke's on you. Um, ah, yes. Um, some kind of uh, Diaz, I, I presume? Quite. Um, he says... Bernando, I believe you destroyed my tower. Belief's a funny thing. He says, Believe whatever you want doesn't always make it true. Belief is a funny thing. And often, 
You can manifest great things through belief. Uh, Delilah, give me a pow check. Yep. yep. That's the stat I got. Yep. Pow! How you like me now? <laughs> uh. Well, that didn't start good. Because that's... No, I was hoping to make that a six. Nope, it's a 94. <laughs> okay. As he looks at you, Henry... He, store, he sort of starts playing with his ring, and if you've ever seen animated Aladdin, it's like Jafar's snaky ring, and um, the two of you see the eyes glow, and Delilah, you are just struck stunned. Cool, you are this guy's getting shot. <laughs> you are enthralled. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Hang on, one. I have to look up Fan the Hammer again. <laughs> dur, 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 dur. <laughs> Die, you son of a bitch. You done so. You burnt. <laughs> yeah, he does have a very striking look, though. It... I believe that ninety-four. <laughs> All dark, everything but bright green eyes. Yeah, that's yeah. Oh, also, casting magic and call of Cthulhu is not good for you. It eats away <laughs> your brain. <laughs> <laughs> So, it's alright I'm not in for a long term relationship anyway <laughs> <laughs> you're a hit it and quit it kind of girl <laughs> <laughs> for sure Chamber. Where's Fan the Hammer? I know it's a thing here. I know I've done it before. <laughs> That's why I know it's a thing. From rifles. Uh, the fanning option rule, page 45. This is where fanning yeah. optional rules go. San, San, optional. San Francisco is in this book. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> Hot dang. Fanning, fast firing option. What page is it on? Forty five. Roll for each shot with one penalty die. Oh. Once one shot has hit a target, do not roll to hit with any further shots. Okay, see, so yeah, it gives you a bunch of chances, but the idea is that you probably only really hit once. In that case, yeah, I'm just going to shoot a gun at him. Okay, yeah. See if I miss from point blank range. Uh, so roll with advantage. Since you are real close. This dice refused to roll under 50. I'm going to spend some luck to make sure I hit him. Okay. Okay. So. Really? Monterey's a place right now? Okay. Um, okay, yeah. So you uh, roll your damage. Five. Okay. So he kind of does um, the, the Ozymandias thing from the end of Watchmen, where he almost reaches and seemingly catches the bullet. Uh, but you can see there's blood pouring out of his hand and he drops the bullet and you can see his ring glows and his hand heals. Okay, can he do that five more times? 
<laughs> yeah, you you just start hammering into him, and he doesn't catch the bullet this time, but he takes a couple shots and he staggers backwards, and he kind of clutches the wall. But once again, his ring glows, and he leans forward, and his shirt is bloody, but you can see that he has skin intact under the holes in the shirt you've just punched. Does uh. I'm gonna cut his finger off. Does he make a concentration check? Oh yeah, you. So, so the shock of that for both him and you, Delilah, you snap out of it. But you all start to hear police whistles. Okay, I'm wondering. Mm-hmm. Can I pull a bit of a deceit to try to get, like, to walk next to? him to kind of like oh no my master and once like kind of reach down for his hand Mm -hmm. and hack it off with a silver sickle okay so because i never threw mine away okay so so okay give me a pow check delilah let's see how you quickly you recover otherwise henry also said that they were gonna grab yeah yeah no for sure I just wasn't, you know, yeah. Okay, uh, a six. Oh wow. Okay, yeah. okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna retcon what you say slightly because I, okay. I want to make this a a a dual effort. So so ha- fanning the hammer just hits him. He staggers, touches the wall, kind of gets back up. You, your eyes unclouding. Go towards him in a in a bit of deceit and subterfuge, almost like you're just shocked that anyone has been shot. Like, oh no, sure, sure. And you, oh, no. grab his hand and hold it while he starts to struggle. And Henry pulls out, I assume, also the silver sickle. Uh, no, he has a knife. Okay, is it done? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so you want to cut off his finger or his hand? Finger's gonna take way less time here, and if the police are coming, well, we can say someone was under assault. Okay. Uh. Yeah, give me a check with your knife. Otherwise, Delilah, you have his hand in yours, and you have pulled out your silver sickle. <laughs> and Ash in the background is like. He threw down the cigarette. <laughs> and as soon as Henry started shooting, he starts raffling in his bag for his gun. Oh. Is this one of those jazz okay. cigarettes they're always talking about? What's happening? But by about the time that he gets the gun out of the bag, he looks up and sees Henry just ready to hack <laughs> off this guy's finger. We'll have dumped his body in the harbor by the time Ash finds that gun. <laughs> Yeah, I need a different percentile die cuz that one no. Okay, so you you slip and just stab him and he got ah. <laughs> uh Delilah, do you want to try? I'll call that a win. Yeah. I thought we were going for the hand. <laughs> Plan change. Uh, uh yeah, what like I don't really see a melee. What it what is uh, a brawl? Fighting. Yeah, do you have any kind of fighting, fighting or skill? And I've got the the normal twenty five. Yeah, but, I, mean, I mean, I gotta go for it. Yeah, there's yeah. not much else for it, right? All right. Can I navigate my way to his hand? <laughs> uh, since I no, have Pat him, do I get any kind of advantage? <laughs> Can I get any kind of natural advantage because I got him? Or uh, yeah, and he's distracted by. <laughs> Henry's unrelenting attempts to kill him just die. Entire gun stabbing him. Twenty-three. Okay, are you aiming for his finger or his hand? Uh, I'm probably going for the whole wrist, but it's okay. a sickle. I mean, that's yeah, a, of course. No, it, a cleaving weapon. But that is, I am not trying to trick you. That is just a question. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So you slice off his hand. And he kind of looks at it, shocked. That's the way to feel. You cut off his hand. (laughs) 
Uh, and you can see the blood that is pouring from his his severed wrist starts to boil and bubble and then smoke as he instantly starts to age 300 years and becomes a withered leathery skeleton with just the tightest skin his clothes bagging on him full of holes and blood and just collapses and the the hand disintegrates and the ring clatters to the ground I would like to pull out a kerchief and pick up in the kerchief. Okay. Oh, thank you. Oh, yep. Yep. You were doing that. <laughs> I can pull out a kerchief hang faster than I can pull out a gun. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that. One from each sleeve. <laughs> Fastest draw in the West, Ash. Bless. I throw a map at him. <laughs> <laughs> um. Hit him with my spyglass, but those are expensive. <laughs> oh, I need that back. Uh, we should go, because there goes my alibi that he got fresh with me and you boys helped. <laughs> Fend him off. He's a pile of ash and ooze now. Yeah. Uh, just out of the alley, out of the alley. <laughs> so yeah, so you, you hustle buns out of the alley, <laughs> maybe fake a scream, point into the alley. Like, went that way, <laughs> officer. <laughs> But yeah, eventually someone comes skittering around and they find a pile of clothes and a clearly someone has exhumed a body and dressed it up like some kind of sick joke. Put the weirdos in this down. And that's how Halloween was made. That's why San Francisco is such a big Halloween town. This happened on October 31st, even though I said it was six months later. <laughs> It's a full year now. <laughs> um. <laughs> okay. Some um, Wikipedia will bear that out. What would you like to do after you have defeated the evil sorcerer who ran that town? <laughs> Convince Ash to throw a ring into the ocean? Yeah. Probably not a hard sell. Oh, you don't want to put it on? No. No. That's a that's a hard no. Oh jeez. Okay. I give you guys loot and everything. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not falling for that. Oh well in that case. <laughs> Different game. Wait on Wednesday. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. No. Throw that thing into the yeah. Pacific. Yep. Uh, I would like to try and secure it in like cement or something. I'm having a lot of cement business right now. Yeah, uh, you could probably tie it to like a brick or something. I'm trying to think. I don't. Yeah. Well, I'm thinking about encasing it in. Yeah. Something. So that yeah, I mean that's definitely a smart. Tiny vault, and then throw the tiny vault into the bed. <laughs> yeah. Henry, you got a tiny vault at your lock business? Uh, conveniently, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. We'll sweet. fill that full of bricks and a ring and then throw that into the ocean. Okay, how are you carrying this ash? What's your strength again? <laughs> uh, excuse you, my strength is 55. <laughs> okay, that's not How is ash carrying this? With help. Yes, okay. Yes, <laughs> we're going as a team. <laughs> I'm, I'm mostly there for emotional support yeah. myself, but... Not at all weird. <laughs> what are you looking at? <laughs> it's fine. Mind your own. Listen, of the things that have been thrown into this uh, harbor, I don't believe that a, a vault with bricks and a ring in it is anything strange. Two piers over, it you see... It might be the worst, though. Yeah, two piers over, you see an oddly lumpy and wriggling laundry bag. <laughs> yep. <laughs> There's a line. <laughs> we'll get him in a minute. <laughs> no, no, take we your time. We had to wait half an hour in this line to throw our vault into the ocean. You're going to let us do it. <laughs> Evening, Can Steve. Play through. Evening, You're taking a long time. No. no. Mind your turn, you newbie. Like, yeah. You at least uh, pretend the vault is wriggling or something. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. got a live, live one. <laughs> you throw it into the ocean, and <laughs> camera cut to it gently sinking, hitting the ground and kind of shifting into the sand. Bubbles. And yeah. What all would you like to do as a postscript? Well, boys, it's been real and it's been fun, but it hasn't been real fun. Um, yeah, I, I, I know pretty much what I want to do. Does anybody else have their postscripts lined up? Um, I'm answering back my my sweet Protestant prince. Mm-hmm. Um, and especially now, especially with this business wrapped up and I don't have to quite look over shoulders anymore. Um, and now that I've heard that uh, women can vote in Wyoming, I, I plan on taking up now that I have my stuff, I made a little money. I'm buying myself a one way ticket to Wyoming and I'm asking that I would be awfully pleased uh, if he would meet me there. Okay. And, you know, I, I will have a round of quite fond goodbyes, but this this weather's for nobody. <laughs> <laughs> Whole town is just it's clown shoes. Uh, so, yeah, I'm... I'm Going to Wyoming, the land of the future. <laughs> Gonna serve on the tourism board. <laughs> Mark my words, gentlemen. No one's gonna even know the name San Francisco hundred years from now. Uh, <laughs> just head back east, ish. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, Henry. Continue with lock shop. Okay, yeah. You got a tidy little business here. Is it go straight? It probably ain't so bad, really. <laughs> Sorry, go forward. You had to Never jump straight. off of a single moving train. <laughs> I haven't broken a bone this year. <laughs> Mine or anyone else's. <laughs> um. Okay. Ash. Uh, yeah, especially if Ash can get involved with the the trolleys. Yeah, in San Francisco. That's pretty much a dream come true for him. I love it. Yeah, I think that's great. Okay, great. Um, my little postscript. I have to change it slightly, but I mean, think for a second, and then uh, in the same handwriting as before. Um, what happened? After that, well, Delilah never told me. I never had the thought nor nerve to bring it up. Um, perhaps one day I will find out, but it doesn't seem important. That seems behind us. And hopefully those terrors and horrors will never be spoken of again in that terrible town, that terrible state. Wyoming's a lot better than you think it might be. <clears throat> Thank you all very much for playing some calls of Cthulhu's. Um, outros and plugs. Um, Jay. Hi, I'm Jay Rishu. You can find me on Twitter if you would like, at Jay Rishu. Um, very busy Twitter month. 28, 29 Black Days of Cosplay is happening, so I'm breaking my retweet button. A lot of talented people out there. I've been loving it. Cece. Hi, I'm Cece, aka Soup, aka Soupska, on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, I do artwork and stuff, so if you want to see artwork and stuff, you can follow me. 
and Marty. Yeah, it's me. Um, well done, Andrew. That was really good. And oh, especially you. because we did a lot of damage to your, your planned <laughs> narration there. <laughs> and you recovered nicely. So, And I think that's rather sweet. So, yay. I like this. I feel we were quite on brand. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Still too funny for Call of Cthulhu, and there's nothing wrong yeah. with it. <laughs> but yeah, there is no way in hell you were like, they're going to run to San Francisco, and you oh. handled it marvelously. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so, well done. No, I forgot you had that other stick of dynamite. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're gonna blow up the. Uh, they're gonna blow up the monument. God damn it! Now he can't call his elder god because it needs the uh, fucking uh, monument. <laughs> and I even, I even checked the spell again. I was like, no, right there it says is drawn to a specific monument. Damn it! Nice. <laughs> no, I mean, but also good. Yeah. I didn't have to summon Yug Sothoth. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! That's one of the bad ones. The worst one. We would have had a very different ending if yes. that had happened. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, and the original, the original little thing I had at the beginning was much more vague. Of I never found out what happened to. Him. <laughs> <laughs> so, and a lot this more cynical. Is a good time to save the narration for the end. Yeah. yeah, I like it. I did like that. Okay. Um, I'm Andy Hatton at Andy Hatton at Laugh I N N Dragon on Twitter and Instagram. This week is Star Chasers. Uh, they're going to Hero Space. And it's going to be... Hero Space is weird. So it's going to be really fun. Um, next week is Phantom Horizons, and Task Force unlikely should be returning to its normal day, but if not, it'll be a rerun of last Task Force unlikely, but I think it'll be a new one. We'll figure that out. Follow me on Twitter. We're going to figure it out. And then I'm going to talk to all these wonderful folks about maybe what we're going to do next in this slot area thing. Maybe it'll be more Call of Cthulhu. Maybe it'll be something else. We'll see. I've got ideas. We're going to talk about it. Have a great night, everybody. <laughs>